Hey guys! Whoa! Oh my god, just like the old days, right? Let's see if I can lock my tripod. There we go. Um, I just wanted to do a quick little vlog slash haul slash whatever. Um, oh my god, you would not believe the week that I've had. <laughs> um, last Thursday was my birthday, which was awesome. My friend Tiffany um, took me out for my birthday. Um, we went to IHOP for breakfast and then um, she took me to this place called Winter Park in Florida. It's this really cute little town and we did all kinds of little fun things. I got macaroons and <clears throat> we did like a wine tasting and I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> Gross. Um, but it was really fun and uh, then Sunday I got in a car accident. Happy birthday! <laughs> um, and uh, so that was fun. I bumped someone from behind. And um, it literally happened in like a split second. Uh, there was, I turned my head for one second, turned my head back, and there was a car right in front of me. Like everything was super spaced out. Everyone was going like normal speed. There was no traffic whatsoever. And then bam, standstill traffic in the middle of nowhere. There was no light or anything like I have no idea why the traffic was stopped and while we were waiting for the cop to come another rear-end collision happened in the same place that it happened to us and then when the cop was talking to me another one happened in the same place three accidents in the same spot in like 30 minutes so that made me feel a little better actually <laughs> as horrible as that is um, made me feel a little less stupid knowing that it happened to a few other people in the same time span but um that's florida for you especially orlando accidents everywhere so if you ever plan on moving here just know that your insurance will be higher because so many accidents happen because there are so many tourists that don't know where they're going but i'm not a tourist the person that i hit wasn't a tourist either so maybe it's not true for me but um it had been a really long time since i'd been in any kind of accident so it just kind of sucks and i got a ticket and I'm gonna have to take like a class online to reduce the points and everything so it's not gonna be fun I have to take my car in to get repaired my car is leased so I definitely have to take it in to get repaired luckily the damage wasn't that bad nobody was hurt um so there's that but yeah it was like <laughs> the week went from being like really awesome on my birthday to really crappy on Sunday and then Tuesday I got sick and I'm still I'm still sick right now but I'm feeling a lot better like I have a lot more energy and stuff I just it was a cold but um Wednesday I had to call in from work because I was like I was horrid <laughs> like I was you did not want to be around me on Wednesday it was not pretty but um now it's just like going through the stages of the cold where yesterday it was runny nose today it's losing my voice my throat is really scratchy so can't remember what the next stage is we'll have to find out tomorrow but um anyways I thought I would while I'm talking to you guys I thought I would show you just a couple of things that I got for my birthday it's nothing really exciting mostly I got gift cards which honestly I love gift cards because they allow you to really get what you want and it's easy um cause most of my family lives um in Chicago so it's hard to send gifts and things I mean it's what a waste of money to ship things when you can just email a gift card or put a gift card in the mail and I mean obviously you know that I got my this camera which is the best birthday present ever I was so excited but um, I also got a Sephora gift card and with it I got this little bottle of Prada candy which I've wanted Prada candy for like over a year and I just did never wanted to pay for it but luckily Sephora has a smaller size bottle the only thing I will say negative about it is that I really liked with the bigger bottle that you just press down at the cap but with a smaller one you open it so and also I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see this I'll spray it on my arm but the spray is really thick like I've I don't know if you can tell but it looks like I've used a lot already because one spritz sprays a lot of product so um that's a bummer and I also don't think it has the lasting power of some of my other perfumes that I like to wear on a daily basis but I really like the smell and this bottle is just like I think this is like my favorite perfume bottle ever to be honest and I love the color Ooh, I look really awesome behind this bottle 
Whoa. <laughs> oh my god, I'm such a dork. Um, anyways, I also got a Barnes & Noble gift card, which I thought I was going to use to buy books, which, um, if I could take you on a tour of my apartment right now, you'd see that I definitely don't need any more books, but I also don't need any more DVDs, and that's what I bought. I bought two Masterpiece Theater, um, these are two of my favorite, Jane Eyre is one of my all-time favorite books, and this was my favorite, um, movie version. So this is Jane Eyre, and then, um, and they were 50% off plus 10% off, which the 10% off was off the sale price. So that was something I wish I would have known beforehand, but, um, I am a Barnes & Noble member, at least my mom is, so I use her account, but, um, so that was a good deal. And then I also got Wuthering Heights, which I absolutely love. This is Tom Hardy, who you may know of from like Inception and Dark Knight Rises. Um, I freaking love him in this movie. I have such a huge crush on him because of this movie. Um, he's awesome as Heathcliff. So yeah, I love this rattly Wuthering Heights. That was another 50% off. So also I got for myself, not with a gift card or anything, I got um, Vampire Diaries, the third season, off of eBay. So I highly recommend buying TV shows from eBay, to be honest, because, um, like, this sells for, I think, like, 40 bucks at Target and whatnot, and I got it for 20 so that included shipping and everything, so it's a lot better of a deal. Speaking of shows, oh my god, I'm having a TV moment right now. Since there's been nothing on... Um, well now all the new shows are starting, but there was like nothing on. So I've been getting movies or getting TV shows from Netflix and, um, I get discs. So it's a little more difficult to watch TV shows that way, but, um, still it's a great money saver. Um, but I just finished watching American Horror Story, the first season. Holy crap. Like I actually went online and found a way to watch the last five episodes um, and I watched them all like back to back really late at night the other night, but I freaking loved it. I love the character of Tate. I'm not going to spoil anything for you, but, um, yeah, I loved it. And Sammy, what are you doing? Um, and then I also have been watching Homeland, which the last disc of that is coming today. So I'm going to finish the season tonight, probably. And I've loved that too. So highly recommend both those shows and both of them are the next season of American Horror Story, I think is October 17th. Um, so I'm definitely going to be tuning into that. And Homeland, I don't get Showtime, so I might have to wait for that to come out on DVD again. But um, that starts, I think, Sunday. So um, yeah, I also got a an Amazon gift card with which I bought Gone Girl with. I've read both of Gillian Flynn's other books just recently, um, Dark Places and Sharp Objects, and I loved both of them. And I ha well, because I had them both, I was like, I cannot buy Gone Girl until I finish those ones. That was my rule for myself. And I actually finished them both before I bought it. I was so proud of myself. So I'm only about 90 pages in right now, but I love it so far. Just, just like the writing and everything, so far it's my favorite of her three books. But I haven't finished it yet, but hopefully the ending will not disappoint me. I have a tendency, I watch a lot of crime shows, I do a lot of reading, so, and like my mom is the same way, where we tend to imagine like a really awesome ending for a book, like we go through all these ideas in our minds, and then sometimes the actual ending is not as amazing as what we imagined in our head, so um, I hope that doesn't happen with this book. But her other books, I didn't guess the endings, and I loved them, so... I'm really excited to read this. Only thing is, is I bring books with me to work to read on my break, and this is a beast <laughs> to carry around, but I don't really care. I carry it anyways. I also got, um, not with a gift card, but was sent this by my mom. Um, this is The Diviners by Libba Bray. Um, Libba Bray, I absolutely love her. I haven't read all of her books, but one of my favorite book series of all time, let me grab it real quick because it's in reachable distance. Um, <laughs> the uh, Gemma Doyle trilogy, which starts with A Great and Terrible Beauty. Um, this trilogy is one of my favorite book series ever. Come here, you little chubs. Hey, mouse. I don't want to be picked up. <laughs> um, I love this book series. So this one looked really great, too. Um, I won't say too much about it, but it's... Oh, I got a text message. 
never thought that would happen to me on film um but it's basically like a paranormal suspense mystery type and it's uh, historical I think it takes place in the jazz age not sure um I don't like I said I don't want to read it for you but you can look look it up on Amazon oh and also how freaking cool is this cover so awesome I love it so Sammy <laughs> come here you hello I love to sniff the camera but um so yeah that's been my week and my little birthday haul I don't usually get a lot of makeup type things well I mean I got a Sephora gift card but I didn't use it for makeup but um when it comes to makeup I tend to buy the things that I really want um I haven't really been doing much shopping honestly lately I mean like in the past few weeks because money is tight and now I got in an accident and um yeah but I do really want you know I'm a lipstick junkie that's like my thing but um I really want to try one of the Burberry lip velvets like the shade pink apricot they're on um, Nordstrom's website right now if you want to look at them but I'm kind of looking to see like lip swatches first because it is a matte formula so um and also I'm curious about the new Bobbi Brown creamy matte lip colors too I'm kind of and I'm I'm kind of like in a darker I mean not right now <laughs> I'm doing my usual nude lip thing today but um I'm kind of been into trying out um darker lipsticks but I'm just like I'm it's kind of a new territory for me so I'm not really sure I'm like interested in like plummy deep black cherry type shades but I'm nervous to to try them so but I think matte formulas those kinds of shades are really really good so blah 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 rambly rambly but um anyways oh I did get I'm wearing both of them right today actually N totally not on purpose but um, I'm wearing the rosy outlook blush from the Mac office hours collection and also the um pro longwear lip glass in oh what's it called something peach the peach one perpetual pink pink perpetual peach persistent peach something like that and what's funny is I have the pro longwear lip glass in patience please from the collection last year which I actually got that for my birthday last year um and I was thinking that I really hated the formula but I think I was just applying it too thickly it needs to be applied like as thin as possible because it's pretty sticky but it also is really long wearing and really pigmented and I'm kind of re-falling in love with them so um but yeah that's pretty much all that I've bought makeup wise aside from I did buy a couple of things drugstore wise I bought one of the new um Maybelline baby lips like duos well hey mouse his paw sticking out under the bed so cute hello um and like the coral color and something else which I actually really like those so um that was a good deal and I just got like a couple of nail polishes and I got a covergirl lipstick and delish which was kind of branching out into a darker lipstick color for me anyways so it's still kind of a nude but it's kind of a, like almost a brown nude but I still kind of like it on me so um but yeah I should show you these things but I'm lazy so anyways I have to go to work in a little while nothing on my nails for that reason but um I'm sure I will talk to you guys soon I just really wanted to film a video even though I know this is really disjointed but um like I said, I haven't really been doing a lot of shopping and stuff, so I thought maybe I'd just show you, like, my birthday stuff um, and tell you about that fun little accent I got into and also my birthday. I took lots of pictures of my birthday and I put them on Instagram, so I'm Don't Call Me Jesse, J-E-S-S-E, -S -S -E, just like on Twitter. Um, that's my name on Instagram if you want to follow me there. I also post all my pictures. I, I always say this, but I always post all my pictures that I post to Instagram on Twitter, too. So, um if you want to see my pictures of from my birthday but um all right well I guess that's it this video is probably long like my videos always are I wish Char oh there's Charlie let me go get him I still have Charlie even though he's kind of a recluse compared to my other cats come here you come say hi oh 
<laughs> my other kitties get so jealous. Like my basketball shorts. Hey, Charlie. He's a little sweet guy. He's just kind of shy. So, there's Charlie. He's such a sweetheart. <laughs> yes, what a baby. He's get he's gotten to be a little chubby since I've had him. So, he loves dry food. He's constantly going to eat dry food. So, um, one thing, one question for the other cat ladies out there. Um, sometimes Mouse and Charlie fight. It's usually like once every other day or something. It's not like it's a really bad problem. But um, do you know how to encourage cats to get along? Because I could use any tips that you might have. So, um, and also, non-cat lady wise, if you have any recommendations for dark lip colors, um, I'm interested. <laughs> so, um, and I think I'm going to be doing a dark lip um, favorites sometime soon too, but I have a feeling I'll be purchasing one or two. Maybe, I don't care if it's drugstore, high-end, whatever. I want your recommendations. So, um, let me know. Oh, it tells me how long my video is. 16 minutes, wow. Okay, so I ran out of space. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to say goodbye. That's it. I'm done rambling. Um, have a great weekend. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!